Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Resident Evil 4. We went through a hell of a fight, and then we went through another hell of a fight, and then... You guessed it. One more. But you know what, it's finally time to leave this accursed village. There's the exit. It won't open. I guess this is the only way out of this village. This light looks like it's some sort of retinal scanner. Do you remember the note we read in the previous installment? It said something like, my sight is the only way out of this village. It was something like that. <sighs> we were almost home free. Ever so close. I guess we're taking a side path. I'll take the barrel. With shotgun shells. There's a guy way the hell out there. I'm not even sure if I can shoot him from this distance. Maybe I could with the rifle. I'm not gonna aim... well... Maybe I will aim at him now. I'll see if I even can do this. You know what? Alright. And now for the hard one. Did I say hard? I meant incredibly easy. <laughs> Let's take ourselves a ride. Oh, baby. Nobody's this good. Is that it? I hope it is, really. It's not. Oh, my God. It's not like I could take their stuff anyway. Sir, that, hmm, you know what, honestly, not a terrible shot. Do I have to press the button to get off the thing, or, no, we're just good, we're just good. Good thing I had all those rifle shots. Do you think? Hey! Okay, I guess we're safe. Ten handgun ammo shots. Oh, hello. Flash grenade. Clearly there's a door here. However, I guess it doesn't matter. Just come around full circle. All right. Clearly I went a long way around. What? Wait, what? Yeah, give me a second. I can keep going down, but... Yeah, I'm following this path. Oh, bad. That was also bad, actually. Are you serious? One shot and she's just dead. You see Leon like, oh no! Tell me I'm not redoing that entire gondola segment. Oh, thank God. I saw the get on prompt. I was like, don't even tell me, but no, no, no. 
we we are we are clear of the gondola segment, thank goodness. I do have to recheck the lockers, but that's a minor inconvenience. The funny thing is that I'm going the wrong way, of course. But I want the treasure. But you know what I'm gonna do with my wisdom? Wait. There's nowhere to hide, but she can wait, right? Well, they got one of their own. Oh, I meant to shoot the guy to get him to drop it, but if I actually shoot the dynamite, the more difficult shot, you know what, fine. Follow me. Okay, good. Here comes Ashley, let's go up the ladder. Are you serious, sir? Uh-oh. All right. Maybe that first Plaga just took a bunch of extra hits because it was the first, it was a boss level Plaga. It dropped gold bars. It's like the very first zombie in Resident Evil 1. It's way tougher than the rest. This blood's still fresh. Was there some kind of ritual here? Old timey treasure chest. Oh, hello. The yellow cat's eye. Well, there's one mission that's effectively completed, right? Boom. With green, red, yellow. Three gemstones have been set in the side. What a classy looking Bierstein. Okay, now let's advance and hopefully not die so I don't have to restart this segment. Hop down, catch Ashley. I should have had her wait just so I don't have to catch her, but very minor inconvenience. It's not like it takes long. Now let's go the intended way. Oh, another merchant again. And a save. I guess I got past that grueling gondola segment. What's my health situation? I have two green herbs. You think that's enough? Nothing new, but I can sell that Bierstein at long last. 20,000, yay. Boom, it's out of here. I no longer have any treasures. I do have a key that I won't be using. Oh well. TMP, shotgun, handgun. You know what, I'm selling the TMP ammo. Because that actually takes up inventory space. Done. Let's save the game. I'll heal Ashley if I really have to, but eh. Oh yeah, I forgot I could skip past that. Well, oh well. Let's move on. And just for luck. Never. Anyway. Uh, what does this area look like? Just go, it's a building. Alright. Extremely linear path. Even I can navigate that. Big building. No items in the immediate vicinity, but then again, I just had some by the merchant. Oh. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. Oh my god. How the hell? <laughs> I freaked when I first saw that.
I'm gonna let that go. I'm letting it go. Jeez. Wow. Zero effort. All right, let's let's press the correct buttons this time. Oh, whatever. I have to run the path again, but it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, now that I know I'm fighting this guy, let's shotgun it up. I was running rather low on shotgun ammo, so it's nice that I got this. Get ready now. LNR, I believe. That's original. Only on the Nintendo GameCube. Doesn't even flinch. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, let's do that. I think I had avoided him anyway, but let's just keep doing that. I'm gonna shake off now. Oh, there it is, the ladder. Time for a power move. Hasta luego, again. Oh. Wait, what? Did, am I looking at this correctly? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do this now. You utter fool. Now I'm up here. Um, let's heal, <laughs> actually. Ah, dumbass. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Is that the scariest thing? You think you're all clever. That is so scary. Actually, you know what? Pure DPS, do you think? Wait, take? What the hell? Oh! Yeah, alright. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha! He's half the man he used to be. Huh? I don't know where he went. Where? Oh god. Where? He's leaping around. Excuse me for just one second, please. He'll never find me now, even though he's on the ceiling. Reload faster. Nope! I have handgun ammo for days. I'll be fine. This is the easiest fight in the game. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. Jesus. Nope! You're supposed to fall down. Thank God for invincibility. Okay. Nope. I need to reload, so pardon me for a moment, please. More than one moment, please. Where the hell is he? Oh! -ho. The reach. I, did, I really didn't think he'd be able to hit me from there. Sir. Now look what you made me do. Gross, but that's the thing I need. A bloodline severed. Oh, boy. Do I still get to grab the item? You got the false eye. Okay, cool. I still get to take this, which is 30,000 pesetas. 
And that is the end of Vitores Mendes, who was an incredible badass to the end. I do get another green herb. It's not much, but I'll take what I can get. Now I can more calmly explore this upper area. Because that guy, he moves slowly, but the reach on him... There's actually a lot going on here. There's a free hand grenade. There's even a red herb. They were going to give me the whole package. Red, yellow, and green. Well, now I have a full health. That's great. I didn't even have that going in. I just love that we open the fight with a sweet one-liner. Hasta luego. And all that does is activate the fight. That's what you're supposed to say when you take out Tyrant or whatever. But nope. Mendez is only getting started. Oh. A spinal. All right. Is there something above me? Do I get to shoot down a light? Why, why is there one spinal? But you know what? I think we're done. What a freaking relief. So the, the, the... There was a way that became clear to me, right? Was this it? Yeah, jump out. Are you okay, Leon? Okay, there you are. That was by far the scariest guy in the village. I mean, there was Lord Sadler, but Mendez was terrifying. So we're going to get the hell out of here. Hopefully that merchant's still waiting for me. So this was my escape point, clearly. Well, not my escape point, my destination. Where the hell's my... Oh, yeah. Duh. I have to take the gondola back up and exit the village. Obviously. All right, let's, let's make our way to the extraction point. Can you imagine playing this on a Nintendo system in 2005? That is a grotesque boss. He's choking out blood by the end. This game doesn't mess around. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. Does your selection of good things include my things? Well, it does now. Two flash, one incendiary, two regular. This is very nice. It's a good thing I'm using the red 9 as well. It's not an absolute powerhouse just yet, but the shotgun's power... What even is the shotgun's power? Can I tell by examining? I can. So the shotgun's power is 4, and the pistol's power is 1.8, so DPS is way better than the shotgun. The catch is you need that many bullets, but still... What is my bullet situation? It's probably pretty good. Yeah, freaking 100... What is this? 180 bullets plus the 10 in the gun? I'm good for a while. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's get the hell out of here and hope that the gondola trip back is smooth. <laughs> There's not 100 more villagers waiting for me. I mean, if there are, you saw how easy it was to take them out, but still... And here's the question, do I have to wait for the actual carriage to come? No, how kind. Oh, would you look at that? They just let me have it, that's amazing. Back down the stairs, across this path. There's another merchant over there, but it's fine. I just saved, and if I have a problem, I'll respawn through this door, because it's a green door. Uh, before I use the eye, let's examine it, actually. There is a code-like pattern etched inside the iris. It opens the gate to get out of the village. Do you think if I use it now, it'll work? Oh, nice. Okay. It's open. We have villagers, but give me a second, because I remember this. Yeah, pardon me for just a moment, please. Got him. When you don't see that coming at all, that's actually very frightening. That truck can totally take you out. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Sorry, I didn't think there'd be a hundred villagers where I was just standing. Get the hell out of here. All of you. Better. Tell me we're not- nope, we are. <laughs> done. No, not done, actually. Sir. I want those items, so I'm gonna need you guys to get out of my way. Thank you. A thousand. Herb. Twelve hundred. They're they're really giving me generous drops. Fifty-five hundred? What? I mean I'll take it, but damn. Ashley? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Pretty good. The thing is, I think a single grenade would have taken all those villagers out, but... Uh, whoops. I'm at the exit, pretty much. Thirteen hundred. These are more generous Pesetta drops. Velvet Blue. I do not remember this at all. At all. I wonder if it's just a better spinal. I just sell it. Although small in size, it appears to have some value. Oh, give me a break. On the other side of the bridge. Yeah. You take that one. Okay. Ready? That'll do it. Come on. Yeah. Man, you thought a village was scary? How about a whole castle? But hey, that's the end of chapter two, three. We did it. We did it. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, at the bottom of the screen below each character, it said Ashley Graham. And of course, don't forget the initial, Leon S. Kennedy. I love it. I really do. Oh, no way. I really thought that once we changed chapters, I, I don't know if I would have healed, but I kind of expected Ashley to heal. Okay, little dead ends. Clearly there's a room for us to explore, but I see a barrel with 700. Yeah, that's more of the kind of drops I expect to find. Five shotgun shells. Five hundred. Aha. A gold chicken egg. Well, damn. What's my healing situation? I do have a green herb. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. If Ashley's not gonna heal anytime soon, then done. I keep forgetting though. I mean, I know I could easily find this out, but can I upgrade her health? It looks like I should be able to. Anyway, what's this? Well, it's not a traditional treasure, but 5,000 pesetas. Oh, there's another barrel. Man, the riches just never end, do they? Spinal. Otherwise, clearly we have a merchant. There's the blue flame. And there's a save. And there's, what is this? Another green herb. How serendipitous. Okay. What do you have, buddy? It's a new chapter, right? Welcome. What do you have? Some rare things on sale, stranger. Do you now? You selling? So first of all,
Do I sell the chicken egg? Anyway, spinal. Just the one, that's all I have. Velvet blue. Thank you. 2500 is a little more valuable than the spinal. Is that all strength? <laughs> so weird. Thank you. So what do you have for me to buy before I check the tune-up stuff? What are you buying? Okay, absolute priority. The attache case large. 96 boxes, 8 by 12. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. And a treasure map for the new area, the castle. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, the black tail. I was looking up uh, online which pistols uh, people recommended for full game playthroughs, and I saw a couple of outliers. Oh, actually, I like the Punisher. Oh, actually, I like the original handgun for the final upgrade. But it was pretty much a toss-up between the black tail and the red nine. Red nine for the power, black tail for pretty good power. And it's not as big as the Red 9, and it doesn't need a stock, as far as I know. A 9mm handgun with superior handling. It's basic firepower. It's level 1, is 1 1.6. Speed point 47, it's faster than the Red 9. Capacity is leaps and bounds better. Red 9's level 2 capacity is 10. This thing's level 1 is 15. That's ridiculous. I forgot the reload speed comparisons, but the Blacktail is damn good. Is that all, stranger? He doesn't go, ooh, a weapon specialist, though. Broken Butterfly. I believe this is the Magnum. A very powerful 45 Magnum revolver. This will make anyone's day. Get it? Go ahead, make my day. Firepower 13. Oh my god. It is more than three times as powerful as the shotgun's starting stats at its starting stat. And speed point seven. That's pretty good. Six shots. Reload takes an hour, though. I see you have an eye for things. Guns not just about shooting, it's about reloading. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's about reloading? Like, I, I know it's a different company, but could this possibly be a revolver ocelot nod? When he gets a sort of high from reloading the revolver in Metal Gear Solid 3? Like, oh, this does feel nice. Shotgun, riot gun. I forgot this existed. This pump-action shotgun is effective even at long distances, and the firepower is better to start. The capacity is one better as well. Firing speed 153. I'm going to have to compare this. Is that all, stranger? Reload 303, firing 153. Come. Firing is the same, reload is the same. So it's just better. This has six upgrade blocks, well, five more for me, and capacity defaults at six. Anytime. What are you buying? Is that all? And this still has six. Yeah, it's just better. It is just better than the regular shotgun. The only thing that might set these things apart is I don't remember what this thing's final upgrade is. But I remember the regular shotgun's final upgrade is a big power increase. Rifle semi-auto. I might want to go for this one, actually. A 223 caliber rifle capable of firing faster than the standard rifle. What really sets this thing apart? Look at its capacity. Uh, 10. But also, I don't think you have to stop and do a little animation between each shot. Firepower of 7 compared to mine of Four. Reload speed 4. This thing, the basic reload speed is faster by a lot than my regular reload speed. I never did upgrade this thing. I think I was considering it. 4 seconds versus 233. Amazing. I think I might just want to go for this. Again, I think the regular rifle's final upgrade is an insane power increase, but this is just a more practical rifle to have. Is that all, stranger? Oh boy, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Alright. Alright. I wonder if it still uses the scope. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> Thank you. What are you 
you selling? The rifle has been good to me, but come on now. Ah, I... <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Mine thrower. This weapon fires custom mines that attach to objects and detonate after a period of time. Not only will you need cash, but you'll need guts to buy that weapon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you throw mines. I'm not going to use it, but it's interesting. I can really keep scrolling. There's rocket launcher, of course. Stock, stock. I got it. It says it's for the bolt action rifle. Oh, okay. There's a scope for the semi auto. Ugh. What are you selling? That's annoying. Is that all? <laughs> That's annoying. Buying? Scope semi auto. A custom scope for the semi auto 223 caliber rifle. Mounted to see your enemies closer. A must for long range shooting. Is that all? Nuisance. I gotta put something in here. Oh, well, I can put the new scope in there, of course. What am I thinking? And then... Nah, I should have just moved those upper ones first. Whatever, it's fine. Better. Absolute beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Go for the mine thrower. Is that all? And first aid spray. Man, this guy's got a lot. And tune up. I can pump the red nine. And I may as well do the rifle. This is going to be my end game rifle. Is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, looks like I got to do the, the red nine as well. More firepower. Two point one now. Is that all? <laughs> Capacity 12. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Remember, it's not just about making the gun better. It's seeing what the final upgrade is as well. This was very, very useful. Very useful. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's get a little of our map. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot how big this place was. This is absurd. Oh no. So we have two treasures. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Calm down, man. I thought the village was big. Anyway, oh my goodness. Chapter 3 1. Oh boy. And for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We actually escaped the village. We had to go through the chief, though, and blowing him up was the first thing we did. In fact, that wasn't even gameplay, and he only got more horrifying from there. A gross sort of centipede... demon? Whatever the hell he was. But we got rid of him. No, he was not the final boss, because we're out of the frying pan into the fire? I mean, we haven't seen any threats in the castle, but you saw how big that map is. You know there's going to be something. Until next time, everyone.